Great Thanks for having you. me this morning. Always fun to sell a laptop, even a little more fun to sell laptops. Exactly. Right? <laughs> Absolutely. A great deal today. But we are going to continue on with Saturday morning, but just with Callie, because we have a very special presentation now of our today's special, which frankly is, uh, I would say flying, but it's kind of <laughs> rolling out the door. <laughs> it is, Alice. You're absolutely right. We are so excited for you to live your best life outdoors wherever you want to go because with an e-bike, you can do just that. And our today's special is, in, tr in fact, really, really rolling out the doors. Well more than half the quantities that we have available for you today at between $1,000 off and $1,400 off, depending on which style you're choosing. Needless to say, it's our finest value of the day. Let's take a look because you're gonna want this one. It's the best we've ever done. Here we go. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna absolutely love this. Here's Keisha, she's rolling in. And I tell you what, she's getting a lot of help with the pedal assistance that you get when you get a class two e-bike. And that's what we are doing here today from Daymark. I'm so excited about this today's special. We've got two different styles. By the way, welcome. I'm Callie Northing, and I am passionate about this today's special because I do have my own e-bike and I absolutely love it. It's changed everything. Back to the two choices. There's two different styles, both of which have four different color options. There's orange, black, red, or white. This model is called Paris, and it's really fun, isn't it? It's like kind of a beach cruiser. It's got the fun basket on the front. It's got the slimmer tire. This one does have another a, a back rack. They both have the same very comfortable seat and even a lumbar support. This can be removed if you don't want it or don't need it, but boy, does this make a difference. So this is called Paris. Once again, a little bit more streamlined, a little bit more classic, a little bit more of that beachcomber kind of look. The one over here, this is my favorite, the Max S. This one, look at the fat tires, look at this. It's not just about off-roading. It's maybe about up and down curbs or on cobblestone streets or even like a packed sand kind of experience if you're out on a beach somewhere. This, the other big difference on this one is that this folds down. It folds into half and then the handlebar rolls down. It can be put into the trunk of your car or the back of an SUV or even a small compact sedan. They both weigh about the same, about 57, 59 pounds. They both hold about 275 pounds, but they all give you the option of pedal assist, which is the key to life. A couple of things about these. In fact, Dan, I don't know which one. Maybe let's come up here to the orange in the Paris design. Wanted to show you the features that I think are so important. One of which is a seven speed Shimano gear system. That's one of the best brands you're gonna find in the marketplace, and that's what you're getting here. So it could be just your regular seven speed you know, bike, but this is where it takes it to the next level. This is where you'll turn on your e-bike mode, and then you can go into level one, two, three, or five, start slow, and then gradually increase based on your comfort level. And with this, this is the throttle. This is what will get you up a hill or get you off and started. You know how sometimes you're at a stop sign and you're like, you just need a little bit of momentum to get going? This is gonna give you that little bit of assistance. And then once you start engaging your pedal action, it kicks into the e-bike mode, giving you up to 20 miles an hour. And it's gonna give you on one charge about 40 miles. In fact, one or the other, I think this one's 30 miles, that one's 40 miles, might be the opposite. I'll make sure I, I confirm that with our guest in just a second. But they're just both so fantastic. Lots of features like reflectors in the front and the back. Oh, speaking of extra features, we give you a helmet with lights in the front, lights in the back. It's a $100 helmet that we're including, and we're including this. This is essentially, it's your Bluetooth speaker. It's a Bluetooth speaker, so you can listen to your jam on, with your music on your route, and it's a flashlight, so it's another headlight, if you will. There's an additional headlight down below, so you've got all the extra features that are so important when you're out on the streets. And you can take these on bike paths. You can take them in the bike lane on regular roadways along with the cars, and that's why I'm really glad we're including the helmet. The helmet is an extra $100. The Bluetooth speaker is an extra $100. All things said and done. I'm not kidding when I say these numbers. You're saving either $1,000 on the Paris or $1,400 on the Max S. 
They both have free shipping. They both qualify for our HSN 18 months of financing. So it's about $55 a month to get the Paris. It's about $66 a month to get the Max S. And I tell you what, this with free shipping on something that weighs almost 60 pounds, take advantage while you can. Oh, this one's already still in the on mode. I would love to introduce you to my friend, and he and I have been having the best time out here on the campus of HSN, Mr. Justin Hyatt, living his best life, coming in on his e-bike Max S. Look I at mean, you. Don't, just, don't mind if I take my time. Just a glide. Just comfortable pace. <laughs> Let's pace ourselves, Justin. Can we pace ourselves? <laughs> I don't want to rush anything. Oh, man, are these great? I mean, they're more than halfway spoken for, you know. I don't think this is going to be a long day for you. I think between this presentation, I think we'll have one more, and I, I, we may make it to six. I don't, I don't know if we will. I don't know either. I mean, if we can get an extended back-end delivery if or something. If we can do extended. For, but that's still to be determined. But I want you to get it for Christmas, so I want yeah. you to order yours now before you even have to have any of those decisions to be made. So do me a favor, correct me, which one is 30 mile range and which one's 40? So 40 miles on the Max S, 30 miles on the Paris. Obviously you did a great job showing kind of the differences. Paris, I think just is that great traditional bike. You get to have the old style traditional look, yet the new style of having an e-bike, everything yeah. you're kind of wanting to upgrade. and then. This is what I've seen to be the most popular style. Living downtown, I see these all the time. This mm -hmm. is what I was shopping for. The big tires, everything I've heard is true. The big tires is all about just feeling way more stable, way more confident, way more comfortable. You feel like you can conquer any terrain because ultimately, look, you know, whether you're on a sidewalk, you may go into the grass, you may go over one pavement that's just a little bit uneven. We've got a mm -hmm. whole bunch of little drainage areas over here. Mm -hmm. You want to feel comfortable and confident when you're on there. And of course, we do have the front uh, shocks on both of the bikes, which I think is huge. It just makes for a much more comfortable ride. What you're seeing in the video, though, is how easy it is to fold the bike. Now, you can fold the Max S. You cannot do that with the Paris, but that gives you the ability now to make a bike even more mobile. Instead of feeling like, well, I don't have a bike rack. I don't have a car that I can get a bike rack on. Good point. This is a way that you can still be able to take that bike with you. And then I love that you can take the bike into your garage, take it into the house if you want to, or leave the bike wherever you want to leave it. Maybe you've got, you know, I live in an apartment where I can leave it in an area. And you can take the battery inside because yep. the battery is removable. Yep. And the reason why we point that out, that the seat will actually tilt forward and then you can remove that battery. The reason why I point that out is because not all e-bikes are the same. In some cases, the battery is built into the frame of the bike. So you have to bring the whole entire bike That's right. in yeah. to now recharge it. With this, you can now, you have a little handle. Once I unlock this with the key, and by the way, these keys are specific for your bike. Mm -hmm. You remove that battery. Really cool things. Of course, you, you, we, talk, we were showing you that video of how you can fold the bike. The pedals even fold down, so mm -hmm. it becomes even more compact, mm -hmm. big tires. Disc brakes on both. The motors back here, I think you were talking about this is the lowest price we've ever done a 500 watt motor. Thanks for uh, qualifying e the 500 watt. That's important. It is. And, and you know why? Because that's what qualifies it as a class two. And the reason why we went with a class two is because it's perfect for you. You don't want to go 35 yep. miles an hour. That's a class This will three. go up to 20 miles an hour. You get to control your top speed. You get to control exactly how fast you want to go. And I know we'll give a great tour. Uh, you know, over there on uh, how you control the settings. The classes. I think that's really important information to share. This is the class two. This is yeah. the most universal. I like most... to live in the middle class. Me too. I'm, I'm I like with you. being in the class two. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't need to two. be. I don't need to be. You know, at the front of the plane. I like being with everybody. <laughs> class two means you get all of the best of both worlds. You get your pedal assist, which we'll show you, which is really really cool. We have that set up over there. You have the throttle. Top speed of 20. You don't even ever have to reach 20 miles an hour top speed, but you still get to go 40 miles to right. a range on your battery. Exactly. I mean, 20 miles one direction, 20 miles back. But if you run out of power for some reason, you went so, so much further, not a problem. You're not, not going to be stranded. Let's talk about what I've happens been then. I've been stranded. You turn into uh, Fred Flintstone well, with the little twinkle toes. Well, that's because your don't have any pedals. My did not have pedals. And they were the small bikes. They did not look like a traditional bike. They were the small bikes. And so once you ran out of battery, you had to walk it home. That's not a lot of fun, okay? <laughs> I can tell you it's slightly embarrassing, and, and uh, yeah, you start to think, man, I wish there were pedals on this bike. <laughs> this is your traditional bike when you want to ride a traditional bike. This is your e-bike when you want it to be an e-bike. When you want to ride it as a traditional bike, but you wish that somebody was just there to give you a little push, 
you can have that pedal assist kick in where it just slightly engages your electric motor. So as you're going through the boardwalks, as you're going through more of a rural area that's a little bit more hilly, or you're just saying, I still want to pedal, I'm on my way back home, but I just want a little help. That's what's nice about having that pedal assist. Yeah, these are absolutely great. I, I know e-bikes pretty well because I've had mine since the summer. Absolutely the best thing I've done. I, backstory, I had some surgery this summer and I couldn't exercise and be out on the bike and do the things that I typically do. So I'm like, well, this will get me outdoors just to get some oxygen. Yeah. Because it's my, it's my thing, being in nature. Um, so I just used it a full, 100% throttle mode. I just let it take me because I couldn't exercise at the time. But as I gain my strength and I gain, you know, little, you can take it one little step at a time. And then before you know it, I was doing more pedaling and then I was adding a little bit of throttle or pedal assist when I was going up a hill. And it, it's just so great that it meets you where you are. So you don't have to, you know, have the leg strength that you once did when you could really, you know, get a 20 mile bike ride in on a day. I'm not kidding. I, when I, I was, you know, I, we did the presentation earlier I was I told you I tore my hamstring I went into a little like of this like depression I could I couldn't okay barely it's a long recovery. it was a real long recovery and then now I take the bike to the pickleball court I've been playing Good. pickleball constantly you know we were saying it's about living get mm -hmm. outside I, the the euphoric and just you know I think the mental change that it gives you of being outside it's like it's medicinal being outdoors, having that vitamin D of the sun on your face, feeling young again, don't stop moving. That's the biggest thing. Do not stop moving ever. A bike is a great way to make sure that you never stop moving. And then you're not limited to how far and you're not limited to how you get to use your bike anymore because you get to fold the bike up, put it where you want and be able to enjoy it however you want. So if you're just tuning in, you're looking here, Dan, great job on the shot of the Paris. This is the one design that is more streamlined, that is a little bit more of a beach kind of cruiser. It comes with the basket. And as you can see, it's got the thinner tires. This does not fold up, okay? But you can choose orange, black, red, or white. They're all really pretty, aren't they? It's hard to choose. Um, they both have the same seats with that lumbar support. The other model is called the Max S, and this is the one that does fold up, as you're gonna see in the back end of a, of a little SUV over here. Uh, and it's got the fatter tires. So again, this one gives you 40 mile range on the one battery charge, the, whereas the, did I say it opposite? I always get it backwards. 40 on the max. 40 on the max. 30 on the pairs. That's right. Okay, I did have it right. So same color options. And one last thing, you know, there's free shipping and extended returns. So you've got through the end of January. I know if you're living in a cold climate, you may not be able to take this out for a minute. But if you give it to somebody for the holidays and they decide, ah, or I just got one, you can send it back. You've got all the way till the end of January. But if you wait until after today to get this bike here, it's going to be between a thousand and fourteen hundred dollars more tomorrow, if any are here, which I highly doubt, and no sh free shipping later either. So today is really a good day to do yourself and somebody you love a favor. And if you can swing to, it is such a great couples sport, the, uh, isn't that's it? That's a good, yeah, good way of saying it. it is a good couples sport. Riding is always that great, you know, just mental feel. When you get to ride with a friend, when you get to ride with somebody you love, you get to look at each other. It's like that, the, like the movie cinematic. Yeah, That's hey, we're out here having a conversation. Drive to lunch. And you know what? Here's the thing when you're on an e on an e-bike. Actually, let's start with when you're on a regular bike. Somebody's usually pedaling faster than the other. Yeah. Somebody's <laughs> usually like, when are we going to get to where we're going sooner? <laughs> on your e-bike, you just go the same speed. It's true. You know, it's like you're just going. We're just cruising. We're both going five miles an hour. We're just sitting there having a conversation wherever we're going. That's the beauty of having an e-bike. Uh, it is the conversation. It is the experience. It is the memories of being able to be like, what a great day. Was that not a great day going out and being on the bike? I know we literally have unbelievable weather. People are saying it looks like, you know, golf course and serene out yeah. here. You'll it be amazed at how the world looks. When you are on yeah, a bike, it yeah. looks a little different when you're on a bike, not looking through a car window. <laughs> what you said is so, so true. I mean, if you're, if you're biking with a partner, usually the guy is a little stronger than the gal. And the guy's always like, come on, let's go. Why, why are you taking so you okay? long? Right, exactly. <laughs> and you're holding back and you're like, Ugh, can get a little annoying. But when you can both go the same speed and same pace because you've yep. both got the same kind of power, Let's, we'll, we'll take you on a little tour here because I think it's important to show this is the throttle. It's, it's like a motorcycle, but it's so not 
as scary? Well, don't need gas. Yeah. You know, <laughs> much that. better for you and the environment, never having to worry about the maintenance aspect of that. Actually, let's do the tour over yeah, here. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, so top to bottom, you know, what you did was great because you get to adjust your handlebars. We are all different heights. Mm -hmm. We want to be able to, when we get the bike, be able to adjust it. Bike's going to come 90% installed. All you need to do is put the handlebars and seat in and then put the pedals on. That's it. When you're putting the, uh, you're adjusting for your handlebar, raise it and or lower it to your desired height. Same thing with the seat. You did the show the seat, which I think is so awesome. Look the first pushy. thing I did on my old bike, I got a bike cushion. Yeah, the I bet. The seat cushion. I've got a bony butt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and those seats are made, you know, it's like I had like a, this mount, one mountain bike, they're like, and I'm like, it just really hurts. Like, yeah, it's meant so you know, don't sit on it. Oh my gosh. It's like, you mean, so it's like torture. It's, it's like, like it's not supposed to be comfortable. This is meant to be sat on, like a seat <laughs> is supposed to be. Backrest as well, so you can lean back and like you said, have mm -hmm. that lumbar support. The other really and nice thing is- you can take this off if you, if you don't want this. You can take this off. The other nice thing is your posture is normal. You're sitting up good straight. Point. You're not feeling like it's a performance that bike where you're constantly point. having to lean forward. You're relaxed, you're sitting, you're enjoying yourself. I think that's really, really nice. Uh, little, yes, the, the little latch right here on the bottom there is how is. you go ahead and lift that seat. That's what we're showing. The battery is not built in to the frame of your bike. All I'd have to do is unlock it, lift the battery out, and then that's how you can recharge it. I believe you can see where you can recharge it right here. Plug it right into the wall outlet at home. Don't need a special plug. Everything comes included. Close that up, that's that little handle. Then you go ahead and close that seat. Really cool bike rack. The bike rack on the back right here, that Burke back rack, bike rack, <laughs> you can go ahead and there's a lot of cool attachments that you can have right here. Obviously, you do have the reflector, but remember, with that helmet, you still do have I love this that helmet. red light on the very back, and you have a light on the very front. So we're giving you one, two, another third light, which is that Bluetooth speaker and light, and then you also have a fourth light right here on the very front, so it makes it even safer. And speaking of safety, you've got two disc brakes, which we're going to show you, and you have all the controls. So when it's people power, we'll turn this down to zero, and by people power, I mean using your legs to pedal like a, like a regular bike. You've got seven gears right here, a seven-speed Shimano bike, and it's that new gear set, so it's very easy to adjust when you want to, increase that torque when you need to, but that's your manual, right? That's your manual adjustment. You have a digital adjustment. This is where you control that motor, and this is the thing that I really, really think is so super, super cool. Now, this is your e-bike. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it to the first setting and then I'm just gonna go ahead and twist that throttle and you'll be able to see that we've got that tire moving in the back and then you've got that speedometer. And not only that, Kelly, you get to see the whole odometer, which is like, how far did we really go? <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> how far did we, no, we went five miles. No, we went seven. You uh -huh. told me it was gonna be. Now you get to see how far you're going. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna start increasing the speed because on each setting, you have a top level speed. And I think that's important because when you get the e-bike, you want to feel comfortable. Oh, it's not going to go too fast for me. That's on the second level, about 11 miles an hour. This is the third level, 17. Now, there's nobody on the bike, so it's going to go even faster than normal. But I'm going to go up again to 22. That's on the fourth speed. And as I go to the fifth speed now, wow. it should be about 26.9 miles an hour. I'm going to keep going. I want you to look at that back tire as I hit that disc brake. Oh, it Boom. just completely, Just yeah. completely stops. You're in complete control over everything. The next thing I want to show is I want to show that pedal assist. Now, with pedal assist, you can still see that we're engaged. We're on the fifth setting. What I'm going to do now is I'm not even going to touch the throttle. And you're going to notice as I start to pedal, that motor is going to be engaged. That's what I mean wow. by pedal assist. What is pedal assist? That's like... Please help me up the hill, assist. <laughs> Please help me get home, assist. But I still want to look like I'm pedaling. Now, if I go ahead and I decrease the speed, one of the things you'll see is as the motor does kick in, it won't be as fast. So I'm going to continue to pedal. Now that motor's still pushing me. It's not as fast. If I was to increase it up a little bit more, now that tire's going to go even faster. But now I've got three ways to ride it, two of which I still get to pedal, one of which I don't ever have to pedal again when I get to engage that throttle. Super, super cool. I'm gonna engage my this throttle because engage I just turned mine. Engage the throttle. Yeah, I'm gonna engage the throttle. I just turned mine on, I'm in one level, you know, I start with one and then just to get myself up and going a little bit, this is where you'll turn your throttle, just like a, if it were a motorcycle, watch this. And then that just gives me a little bit of a gentle starting point. And then once I hit my pedals, then it gauges. The whole pedal assist thing takes place. Hi, Keisha. 
Kelly, it's, you're you're so right. One of the things that I love is the 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 startup. Exactly. Because I can't tell you how many times when we hit that stop sign <laughs> and I'm trying to adjust my pedal to get it in the right yeah, spot like, to get myself going. You just now like when you're at that one stop speed, you get to engage your motor yeah. and then take off and start pedaling. So for instance, really just to get on, again, no bar right here. So I literally just get to step through, get onto the bike. I have the one pedal that's folded. I'll fold that right back, easy to do. And then now that I'm on here, I just go ahead, I'm just gonna hold the throttle down a little bit. It's gonna start to move. I put my feet up here on the pedals and then I start to go ahead and pedal like yep. it's a normal bike. Yep. And then that, you see that little boost? Yep. That was that pedal assist. Yeah, you feel it. And it's a gentle like increase of the momentum. It's like, it's as if you were putting more leg power in to get yourself up to, you know, three miles an hour from, from zero to three, making those numbers up, but it really is the best. In fact, my story from our glamping trip a couple of weeks ago, Tracy and I went up to Northern um, Georgia, uh, Amicalola State, uh, Falls State Park, and right outside of our tent was the entrance to a bike trail, but it was literally like very, very steep. And Tracy, my boyfriend didn't have he doesn't have an e-bike i did so i was just like and it brought me straight up this hill he had to walk his bike up the hill and i mean once we got going he was fine but you know those are the moments where whether it's a hill or it's just to kind of get yourself up from a you know a stop to a mile or two miles an hour that pedal assist is key and then once this is what i do justin yeah once i'm in you know engaged in whatever yeah. like level one as i'm going and if i want to go faster you just touch the button and it goes to level two touch the button and it goes to level three you don't have to stop and rearrange and tweak it just happens naturally everything is within reach you know right is going to be for your manual for your actual seven speed left is right here for your thumb right where you need access and have easy and simple access to increasing and decreasing your digital speed so right here here's my manual for my shimano seven speed on my left there right here, perfect for my thumb to reach that digital display to increase and or decrease. So you don't have to stop, like you were saying, to then adjust what, I wanna go faster, let's stop, I wanna increase it. You can be riding and then just simply press that button. You don't even have to take your hands off of the handlebar. When I go to zero, no engaging the throttle. So even if I pull the throttle, doesn't even engage. Once I get to the one, as I start to engage that throttle, it will start to move. I think the big thing you were saying too is, if you, if you get to those places, you, you, want, you know you want to ride your bike, but you get to that one place, you're like, I could use a little help. Yeah. I could use a little assist. Mm -hmm. I just want to, maybe, and maybe that place is on the way back home. Yeah, it could you be. You know what I mean? Maybe you went a little further than you were used to because you're, you're feeling more confident riding, but you just want that little assist on the way home. Don't even, put your feet up. Yeah. Literally, put your feet up. When you're out on the bike, I can tell you this, when you're out on the bike, it's 65 right now, sun's out, you get going at about 10, 15 miles an hour. That's just that's just natural. In your that's just natural. God's air conditioning. It is. It feels it's just so the wind right on your face. Good. And then you just realize what you you know you're you're riding, but you're smiling at the same time. It's so true. <laughs> you know, you're like sitting there. Wait, I'm. My, why does my face hurt? Because I'm <laughs> sitting here smiling for so long. That is hilarious. <laughs> that is exactly what I find myself doing. I'm smiling. I'm giggly. I'm laughing. I. You just have so much energy at the end without feeling like exhausted i just put in 13 miles on my bike because i used to just have a manual bike and i used yeah. to i used to have a 13 mile route but i was you know pretty spent at the end because it was hot with this i could do 13 miles in a in a second you know i mean what? without effort i i'll never forget this this was when i was younger i was working at a i was working at a surf shop uh -huh. and this oh, was cool. this was down in fort lauderdale and i was like i'm gonna ride my bike to work I did. I made it. Oh, I made it. <laughs> and then I was wishing there was a shower. Because then I was just sweating the whole, like the whole day, completely soaked in sweat. And I didn't do it again. How many people nowadays uh, are hilarious. using their e-bikes as their mode of transportation? Absolutely. Their way to get from point A to point B. Absolutely. And you get to do it without the exercise aspect but you get to do it when you want to exercise. I'm not saying don't right. be exercising. I want you to be moving. I and want you, you to exercise. While you're on your e-bike, you can, you can use your own manual power and not use right. much pedal assist at all. I mean, it's not like it's always electric and it's only mode that you could just, it, you never have to do anything because you do 
have to engage your legs. So yes. you can not even use the e-bike um, mode and at all turn this off and use the seven speeds. Yes. And it's a regular bike. But having that e-bike, oftentimes, like the Pinellas Trail, it's a big, long bike trail here. In, 80 miles, I Yeah, believe. it's amazing. Tracy and I were on there one day. We were just like, let's go downtown and have lunch. Yeah. Well, we get to this one point, we turn the corner, and there's this huge, like, it was went over the overpass. Yes. Or the um, highways, rather. Yes. It was very steep, and the poor guy here, again, he had to get off his bike and walk it up, and I was just cruising along. We, hit, was, about, we hit about three or four of those. And that's when the, the one woman who was with us, she had rented a city bike. Uh -huh. and, it had a, and it was slightly a fl uh, flat tire on the oh, back. Poor and thing. she did one. And she's like, I can't do it. Yeah. I got to go back. Yeah. And so instead of getting to enjoy being out, she yeah. had to go back and bring the bike back. Yeah. And um, you know, even you know, the typical age group is roughly about 30s to 60s hopping on the bikes. I see them everywhere here. In, in mean, this little bike group that we go on. On that bike path? Yeah. It was like 20s to 70s. Yeah. But I will say this, you had your people like we're talking about in their tight little suits, on their special little bikes, yep. speeding right by, you know, of course, do, and then not to like move out of the way type of deal. And then you had everybody else uh -huh. who was, yeah. you know, 40s and 50s, 60s, who were like, I just want to cruise. I just want to relax. I want to enjoy being outside. Well, you know, and there are people that I have friends that are in those bike groups. And if you wanted to join, I mean, it might have been a hard pass, hard no in the past because you felt like you were going to be holding everybody back. But if you have an e-bike, you can be right at that same level that they are, even if they're going manual and you're doing your e-bike mode. It's OK. I mean, at least you're part of the pack and not feeling like you're kind of holding the yeah. fun back. So I know here we are. We're like, I don't know, partway, halfway through this presentation, but we are way more than halfway through our quantities for today. And I, I do say that in all certainty. In fact, I know for a fact right now, if you do either design the Max S, which is the one that folds up with the fatter tires, or the Paris, which is a more streamlined, like more of beachcomber kind of bike with the basket, uh, either one, they're both available in orange, black, red, and white. But I know for a fact that one of them or a couple of the choices are going to be delivered and I think by December 22nd is what we can guarantee. If, in fact, that's that, the, the white and black I know in the, in the Max S, whatever. if you hover over your color or your um, design option of choice and then you can see the colors that are available, it will tell you whether it's standard delivery or extended delivery. So I just want you to know that if you make your call right now and place your order right now, it will be there by the 22nd. If you wait and for some ungodly unknown reason, we can go to Daymark and say, can we get more? I know you won't be able to get it by Christmas. So I'm just letting you know right now to save $1,400 on an e-bike, you're saving more than you're spending. I like that math. Get it under the tree. I mean, imagine the joy and the exhilaration. And if you can at all swing to, I mean, husbands and wives, boyfriends, girlfriends, partners, everybody loves doing these. And when you're together on an e-bike, the conversations along the way are just different. You're more of a partnership than if you're like somebody's way at the front and you're holding somebody back or you're exhausted, you want to go home and you want to keep going. It's just, it's really a neat coupleship experience. I'll, I'll say this, and I know I know my how my psyche works. When I feel like I've accomplished something on the day, when I feel like I've done something good, like getting outside, like exercising, that feeling of accomplishment and then being able to feel that level of accomplishment with a friend, with a family, as a group, man, there's nothing better than that. And I, I'll, I'll say this in, over and over again, because this is something that I, I know personally in my family, don't stop moving. Don't stop feeling like there's that level that you've hit where, I, 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 you know, I, I don't, I don't want to go outside anymore. Go outside, get fresh air, start moving, move your body. You get to move your body in a way that is not overly strenuous. When you want to ride this bike, it's easy. And here's, a, getting on it is easy. This is one of the things that we love about this is that pass through right here means I'm not lifting my leg over a big bar to hop on it. I get to literally step yeah. through, sit on, and sit on, by the way, 
Do you see how thick this is, <laughs> it's too? It's so nice. I mean, it's not like it's just cushy. Look how thick this is. What is it's got to be like a four-inch thick uh, seat right here and the little backrest right here as well. So you get to lean back. You get to sit on something comfortable. You get to get on easily onto a bike. So already the experience is, well, that was pretty simple. Yeah. And then when you want to pedal, you know, I'll even turn it all the way off. Seven speeds. I still feel comfortable right here. I can move my pedals just like a typical bike. And then I'll start to pedal. And as I start to pedal now, I'm just, just a regular bike. When I want to engage the motor, remember everything is so easy to access. I press that one button and now that motor kicks in and then I start moving with that motor. 500 watt motor, one of the most popular motors that's out there because it's just the perfect speed and I think it's the perfect speed for our customer because it's gonna go 20 miles an hour top speed and then when I have reached the limit of 40 miles, which I can tell you is gonna take you a very long time. We've been riding one of these bikes, I think we were up to 20 miles. It wasn't even halfway drained on the battery. When you wanna recharge it, you can take the bike inside or not take it inside. I can go ahead, I'll unlock the battery right here, and then you can go ahead and literally take this battery out of here. If you want to, I'll turn that back on, and then you can go ahead and be able to have the power. So this is how I go ahead and disengage it. I'll just go ahead and show you exactly what I mean. Take that battery completely out, bring it in. This is where you charge it. When I wanna go ahead and put the battery back in, I slide it right back. It's back right there, close that handle. Then I turn it back on. I lock this back down right here and then seat Away down you go. and I'm done. I think it's neat that you can charge it with the battery on the bike or take never the battery to, off the You bike. never have to take the battery out if you don't want to. Right. Or you never have to bring the bike in if you don't want exactly. to. So you, I mean, you just get to choose how you want to, to charge it. And you get choices on how you even want to ride it, I think is one of the great things. Remember, this whole handlebar even goes ahead and yeah, collapses let's, let's down. let's show you that. Um, I know we show you in that video, but I do want to show you right here. So the only thing that I want you to notice, by the way, too, is obviously we've got, you know, we've got the, um, the, uh, phone right here. You're not going to get the phone. <laughs> that's <laughs> yours. That's Johnson's. That's, that's my phone. Um, but the handlebars will completely collapse. So you can go ahead and collapse this down. The little um, pe pegs right here, or the pedals, will collapse down too. And of course, right here, this is where it folds in half. So just about everything is customizable, easy to, easy to use. The, even the clasps right here to lock everything down are not built to be hard. Very easy to go ahead and lock that back down. There's even a way to hold this so you can feel comfortable right there. Easy to adjust those handles. Front suspension, I just want to get on here and show you this. You know, when you're... When you're riding, Callie, and you were to you know, hit those bumps, you can see that suspension moving. It feels really, really comfortable when you hit any of those bumps. And of course, these big tires means all terrain. Doesn't mean you have to go off off-roading, yeah. but sometimes you might have to go off-roading and it, you're just going to feel confident when you do. Well, you know, I think you're going to find yourselves wanting to do more than you've ever done before on a regular bike. Definitely. I mean, you might try paths or, you know, trails that you've never considered because it was either too long or too hilly or too, I don't know, it just seems a little daunting. When you've got the power of an e-bike, you, you will feel a different level of confidence that is going to take you to where you might want to go because it helps you. It assists you. Thus, the 500 watt motor assist, that is truly the, the sweet spot, in my opinion, of what you want when you're doing an e-bike. And, and we all know that you can spend three, four thousand dollars, if not more, on an e-bike. And I mean, quite frankly, you'd be spending 20, I think, $500 as it breaks down for different these different models. I'll, I'll say it again. I think the best way to understand is you're saving either $1,000 on the Paris or $1,400 on the Max S. So the savings are significant and there's the free shipping. We've got you covered. That's it's a almost 60 pound bike. So free shipping is a really nice savings on top of the already you know, existing savings because it's our today's special, not today and tomorrow and the next day and the next day, today. We couldn't get nearly enough even to make it through a whole day, much less to make this an extended kind of offer for a, you know, price like this. So as you're watching us tool around the parking lot at HSN, look at Justin's going off road, off the, off the pavement and through the grassy areas, which, you know, there's a lot of unevenness in there, but that, those fat tires take it beautifully. Well, so when you're on that bike path, there's people that are on the other on the bike path with you. And all of a sudden you kind of get to those impasses where 
you've got, you know, five people in a group and you're like, I'll get off into the grass. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Getting off into the grass on this is so, so easy. I was just showing you this. I wasn't even pedaling through the grass. I wasn't even pedaling going over that. I was like, it's like, look, mom, no hands. Now it's look, mom, no feet. Don't even have to worry about pedaling. This is the desired bike. This is totally the desired bike. This is the desired style. Everybody's calling it, you know, uh, with the Daymac team. This is like the Cadillac of, of electric bikes because it's got all of the top level features. I know we keep showing, you know, those great little boardwalks. You never know where you're going to go. Um, my, my aunt and uncle, they've got an RV. They pile in four-wheelers, and now they are huge electric bike owners. Oh, they that's so cool. They love having their e-bikes. So when they go to these campgrounds, they've never been there before. It's a whole new discovery. It's a whole new place. <laughs> Yeah. There's animals. I tell you what, you've never seen, seen the before. size of that insect that just flew between us. We were like, is it a bird? It was. <laughs> well, it's so funny. We've had butterflies. This is probably, this is like the serene weather, the best this serene is, weather we've ever had, yeah, I think, out here. What, it's unbelievable. This is the best time to be where we live, for sure. Um, but, you know, when you can get out and about and just explore your part of you know the world, I mean, it's, it's an amazing thing just to, to be out there and you see things differently. You notice. You know, because you can go on to trails that are different from, like, the roadways that you typically take. It's it's pretty amazing. Uh, I know for a fact I love my e-bike. It's one of the best things I ever did for myself. That was this summer that I did mine. Um, I can't encourage you enough. You will just absolutely love it. Um, again, two different styles, the Paris or the Max S. If you want to take a closer look on hsn.com, you can see the price differences, the feature differences, and we'll kind of review all of those in a minute. We are gonna take a little time out. I'm gonna get a sip of water. Um, it, it's getting a little toasty out here, but I would love for you to call somebody if you're gonna do this together or make it a mutual purchase for somebody else, because we'll tell you much more on the other side of these words. It's not often that one can wake up every day and pursue their passion. Voila! For over 25 years at HSN, I have been able to do just that. My cookware have helped many HSN customers to improve their cooking style in the kitchen. And the best part is, I have a lot more to share with you. Join Chef Wolfgang Puck only on HSN. It's Black Friday. Slay in and gift big with Black Friday deals, our lowest prices of the season. Pile the presents high with up to 50% off your favorites. Plus, get free shipping and five flex pay on everything. Want more? Join us as we turn up the merry with even more all new Black Friday deals and one day only offers and tons of cheerful deals during our merriest Cyber Week celebration yet. Only on HSN and HSN.com. In the spirit of the season, we have something special for you. Sign up for HSN emails and receive an exclusive gift, 15% off your next purchase. Experience the joy of the season with exclusive offers, all delivered straight to your inbox. And because the holiday spirit should be shared, take another 15% off when you sign up for our new SMS alerts. Simply text HSN to 70514. The holidays are here and so are we. With savings, you'll adore. We have everything they're wishing for and more. Hey, I highly recommend that you check out everything that's available on hsn.com because there's a lot of cool things that are definitely time appropriate. We've got outerwear that's up to 50% off of the price. So that's jackets and outerwear. So with the weather getting chilly, we want you to be ready. It's always fun to get a new coat. A nice jacket, a coat, a winter coat, whatever you're looking for. Check it out when there's 50% off. It's the time to do it. Well, we continue having a blast out here. We're out front. In fact, we're in the middle of the HSN Studios campus. We've got a huge campus. It's fun to be able to show this to you. Back over in that area, that's the main headquarters of our, of our company. Um, and then there's studios all the way around. But behind us is mostly the parking lots for our employees. And we are out here on a gorgeous winter, well, almost winter day. Uh, I know it doesn't look like it because it's so perfect, and this is why we live here. But we've got Justin, we've got Keisha joining us to just really kind of showcase the fun that you're going to have on this e-bike. 
Uh, I know over 3,000 are now spoken for already today. That is, I think, closing in on three quarters of the quantities that we have. And I don't know if they're working behind the scenes to get more if they can, which I don't think they can. It will not be able to get there for Christmas. So I am going to say these prices today are so compelling to save a thousand or fourteen hundred dollars. I'm not kidding. You'll save a thousand dollars on the Paris, which is over here, the more streamlined, the one that does not collapse and fold up. Thinner tires, um, both have that low pass through so it's easy to on, get on and off the bike and both have the incredibly cushy seat, seats they're so nice the uh, other choice is the max s and that's the one that's fourteen hundred dollars savings today it's more than you're spending on the bike and both come of course with free shipping extended returns all the way through the end of january and then one last thing with any major credit card you can get either one delivered in any of the four colors for either $200 for the Paris or $240 for the Max S. But if you have an HSN card, you know you can do 18 months financing? 18 months to pay this off. That means all you're putting down today, $55.55 a month for the Paris, $66.66 a month for the Max S, the one that folds. So that's where we're at, and I know many of you, I mean, however you like to you know, break up the payments, it's fine with us, whatever works best for you. Oh, hi. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, everybody. Just, just out enjoying a beautiful day, Justin. Funny to see you here. Exactly. Funny to see you here. I could be on the other side of campus in 30 seconds flat. Probably. <laughs> I'm going to go see. Okay. I'm going to turn my... I'm, gonna, I'm in one. Here we go. <laughs> uh, you know... Certainly the on a hot... starting and stopping? I'm going to go into mode two now. Bye. See you, Callie. <laughs> How cool is that? All right. I mean, Woo! 40 miles, 20 miles an hour. Where do you need to go? Want to go in and uh, actually enjoy the ride next time you do it? Or do you want to feel like uh, it's a little bit laboring? This is a bike. We, we've seen bikes, but it's not a, a regular bike. This is an e-bike, and it's from Daymac. They're a company who have been around since 2001, almost 25 years. They've sold almost 100,000 e-bikes in that time. They pioneered and have been pioneering electric bikes since the beginning and in their inception as a company. Look how fast you're going, Callie. Speed uh, racer. That was a blast. When you go top speed, it's pretty fun. I was in f mode four. You got, I was going you got fast. That you look like you have like pigtails right now. <laughs> right here. Just windblown <laughs> hair. And you know what? I'm not winded. I'm not like sweating. If I was going to a meeting over in the tower, yeah. that's what we call that headquarters building, I wouldn't, I, I, I would look like I'm, I'm ready for a meeting, not like, like the way day you showed up at your surf shop. Oh, I'm not even kidding. I, that was the I last bet. time I did it. I bet. South Florida, summertime heat. But when you're out, it doesn't, you know, it could be 90 out. If you're going at a comfortable speed, not pedaling, you've got natural air conditioning. <laughs> yeah. You've got that beautiful breeze right in your face, right in your hair. Uh, it's so comfortable. Get outside. Find ways to get yourself uh, outside. Find live. ways to enjoy being outdoors. Have some fun outdoors. Totally. Nature is the best thing ever. I'm taking my helmet off just because I wanted to remind yeah. you, you received this. You get the helmet. And this is not a little wind chintzy helmet. This is a really good helmet there's the back front led back led so that's the front right here you do have the lit led on the front as well so you have the led on the front and you do have multiple settings right here if you want to have that flashing red a little quick flashing slow and then off and then just one bus button to turn it on rechargeable easy to recharge usb-c and then the dial like i've got a small head this is size to say about medium large if you're feeling like it's a little too big, you can go ahead and dial this down and it actually adjusts it and makes it even smaller. So really, really nice helmet itself. That is a really great feature, customs, to your head. I mean, everybody's different. The craniums then, are, are different. And it's so important to protect yourself. You have to wear a helmet when, you, when you're wearing an e or driving an e-bike. And then we give you, let's talk about the Bluetooth speaker too, because this, this um, we haven't really elaborated on, but you can like rock to your... So, uh, no, no joke, when I went to ride with everybody, it just happened to be the same time that the Miami Dolphin game was on. Uh, so I connected my phone. <gasps> That's so cool. To the speaker. So you got to hear the so game. So I can listen to the game. 
So what's nice is that it's it's not stuck in here. I can go ahead and put it in, take it off. There's the LED light on the very front. So you've got the LED light on, the, on your helmet, on the front and back. You got the LED light that's gonna be on the torch. This is also hands-free. So there's a microphone and a speaker. So I can use this to go ahead and connect my phone like we kind of got right here. And then use this as a way to communicate on the phone, hands-free, or listen to music. How nice it would be to be able to listen to music while you're sitting there on the bike. And then we also do have the, bite, the, the light that's right here. If I hold that plus button down, see that? that light turns on. So you get a light right here, you get a light right here, and you got a light on your head. You have lights literally everywhere, so it makes and it even safer when you're well. riding. On your Biggest helmet, configuration we've done. You've got a reflector on the back tail. You've got, both of them do have racks, by the way, on yeah. the back. Uh, the Paris has the ability to like open up the clamp and like strap. With this, you might want to, you know, grab your own bungee cords or however you'd like to yeah. strap things so down. You can, you can get, I think, I mean, definitely bungee cords are the greatest thing. Uh, you were just talking about the Paris. It does have that little clamp on the back rack. So if you want to be able to clamp it down, I've done it with my bags, like had the straps of the bag be able uh -huh. to clamp down here. If you do want to get some additional uh, bungee cords, like you said, that works really well too. The basket is included and all, you know, this is, as you can see, it's cool because it even gives you ability to yeah. like clamp. Stretchy. I bet there are being people with little puppies or little kitties that they I like was to thinking a with. little Yorkie and the that? cutest thing. A little York. I, I, we needed a picture. Why? <laughs> Somebody have a Yorkie <laughs> that we can put in Cue here. the Yorkies. We do have a Dotson we could have put in here, though. <laughs> we do have a beautiful little Dotson we could have put in oh, here. Oh, those are the cutest pups. Um, put it right here. And, you know, uh, one of the nice things is that it's not like a real wicker. That's a good point. So it's not going to be, it's so. not going to start deteriorating. Yeah. And this is cool. It's like really stretchy. So you get to be yeah. able to stretch it. Take that off if you want to um, and put anything in there. So you go shopping okay. with the girls. There you go. The basket. I'm going to do something and I'm going to come over to join you with the same colored bike. Yeah. This is the orange and I wanted to show you the difference side by side of the Max S versus the Paris. Obviously you can see, I mean, even the kickstand on the Max S is beefier. Yes. The fatter tires. This is the one that folds. And then the Paris, the, it's really, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful bike. I would say it's more geared, geared for the ladies. I would, I would agree. It's, it's, I think it's just very classy. It's that traditional cruiser style. A lot of you feel very, a lot more comfortable on it. A lot of you like the look of it. Paint job mm -hmm. on both of them has that, that really nice pearlescent. Orange has been obviously very popular. I, I know, orange. Well, I think we have exclusive on the orange. I think just the style that's of right. it. You, you, you're comfortable with this. You know, the seat, I look at the seat, I'm like, that's probably too high for me. Let me just adjust the seat if I want to. And then remember, guys and gals, because I don't even know why they, I don't, what's the point of having that bar? I need to know. What's the, what? what's the, what's the oh, point yeah. of having the bar right here? I don't know. You're right. It so just makes it so you easy. You step in, not step over. You step in, and then you get on the bike, and that's it. Yeah. So it's just a really nice, comfortable bike. And then the other thing, too, is... I get to lean back, I get to sit up straight, I get to ride the bike like this. I don't have to feel like I'm hunched over on the bike. Like, okay, you know, I, I'm in Tour de France. <laughs> I'm not gonna be in the Tour de France. I wanna be in the Tour de Relax. You are a funny guy. <laughs> but you're right, after a while being in that position, I mean, I've always had a lower back issue. I mean, that really takes its it toll. It takes its toll. Being upright, makes more sense. It's more comfortable. I like to look at things like this. You can see like this. things. Like yeah. A, like, I'm, like we're snorkeling. I think we're looking at the ground. The as ground looks great. Great pavement. <laughs> the pavement is beautiful here. Gorgeous yes. color black. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the colors, honestly, we haven't really given you close-ups. I would say the white is more of the matte white. The red is like a candy apple. That is a candy apple, definitely. Like, legit. The black, matte black. Whereas the exclusive orange has got like a pearlescence to it. It definitely has a pearlescence. You can see that sparkle in the paint. So you have that really nice bright spots. I know when that sun kind of mm -hmm. glistens off of it, you can really, really see it. It is a cool color. The white color. is really clean looking. The black is classic. Red is like just scream speed. Orange is like, I'm a fun person. <laughs> yeah. You know? Or you see like somebody's got like an orange truck, orange bike. You're like... They seem fun. They're fun. They seem like a fun Color person. Color is amazing. I personally, well, it doesn't matter what I think because it's about what you want. I just love that we've got all these options. They're, can you imagine giving, giving this as a gift, being like, honey, look at what I got you. So oh. I was thinking, you know, when we show that bike underneath the Christmas tree, 
It's not just a regular bike. It's not like it's just another bike that you got for Christmas. This is another vehicle. This is another mode of transportation. Mm -hmm. This is another way of having fun. This is a, hey, this means we're going to have adventures. You know, it's not like, oh, you got, thank you. Thank you. You know what, that is such a good point. We get to the point, I think, in life where it's like, oh, gosh, you know, what should we do today? When you start planning adventures together, yeah. I mean, even if it's not together, even if it's just in your own mind for your own life, but together is even double the fun. Yeah. It really is in incredible, the things that you will start thinking about and having conversations about and talking about together as a couple, even while you're on the bike ride versus yes. like a manual bikes, which this can be. You can ride it like a traditional, regular seven speed. Um, when but you're huffing and puffing, not a lot of talking. <laughs> it's not, I can tell you that. It's not, not a, lot a lot of, of talking. talking. It's like, I'm working out here, like it's at a gym. Nobody, don't talk to me. I'm trying to, I'm trying to make it look easy. This is like a casual date. This is a casual yeah. fun. This is like, we're enjoying this. This isn't strenuous. This isn't like laboring. I mean, just to get on your bikes and go have lunch. Go have coffee. Go, you know, maybe ride down to, I don't know. You've got a, you know, Saturday mar markets or... How about let's ride our bikes to the movies? You should get some locks though for your bikes. <laughs> get locks. Uh, remember, what, speaking Actually, of locks, though, the keys, yeah. the keys lock the lock the battery in, and those keys are specific for those bikes. So somebody can't come and somebody turn can't your... say, "Oh, I have another one of those keys," and then turn yeah. and, and and take the battery, yeah. or I turn mean, it on and take the bike. Right. I mean, they weigh sixty pounds, so it's not like somebody's going to be able to come and like really just. But I I think. Locks are, are the right need choice. Need a lock. We've given you just about every single thing that you possibly need yeah. with the bike, uh, but definitely get some locks. And speaking of locks and speaking of everything else, I mean, you have everything in one. And it comes 90% installed. When you get it home, all you do, you put the seat in, you put the handlebars in, and by handlebars, I mean you literally slide it in, put it to the level that you want, you put the seat in at the level that you want. And what's really nice about it really is that you're gonna be adjusting those anyways. Yeah, you yep. know, right, you're right at the get go, you're going to be adjusting your seat level. You're going to be adjusting the level of your handlebar. And then the only other thing you do is you put the uh, pedals on and these pedals are cool. See that clamps down. And when I clamp it down, it folds so that when I put it away, it takes up even less space. So that's really cool. And you were talking about the kickstand. That's not a little kickstand either. <laughs> I know, especially on the Max S, it's got a, it's, it's definitely. A, Everything is beefy. Beefy is right. We've got the beefy. I was going to point out one other difference because with these two side by side, I noticed that the Paris has the chain guard. I'm not sure if that's the proper oh, you're right. term, term, but it, it just is a more, I guess, prim and proper, just more of a traditional classic manual bike look. No, I'm glad you pointed that out. I actually did not even recognize that. It, it, it is completely a chain guard, blocks the chain, makes it look even cleaner. Again, you look at this bike, and I and I, I agree with you in a way that it is a little bit more female centric. It's just traditional. It's yeah. so classic. It's so clean. Mm -hmm. You can see just sitting on the bike, you know, me over here, you know, the the guy, you know, and then the beautiful woman. <laughs> in my mind, that's how I'm envisioning it. You at mean least. the handsome guy and the beautiful woman. That's right. That's what I meant. That's a <laughs> the great looking, unbelievably talented oh, guy. Here we go. Too much? Good thing I've got my helmet on. It's keeping my head small. Oh, this has truly been just a joy being out here offering this e-bike with you today. And and honestly, just what a what a treat to have this at all, much less at these kinds of prices. You shop around. Oof. First thing you start to do, you start looking what what name, what brand. Where you know, uh, of course I think just a great opportunity here. It's so awesome. You won't get the opportunity to get a bike plus a helmet, plus a Bluetooth speaker, plus extra lights somewhere else. I just don't think you will. Nope. And speaking of brand, again, yeah. Daymac, been around since 2001, not making shoes, not making tires, not doing, you know, other electronics. They started in 2001 as an e-bike company. I don't know a lot of companies that have been around in electronics for that long, let alone started doing electric bikes. And not only that, they do mobility scooters. They have their brand of doing exactly that in a, just a great ergonomic, healthy way of, for, the, for the planet. And again, good for the body, good for the soul, good for the earth. Yeah, it's all good. And my whole life through, I mean, look at this scene. Just to be able to ride through a forest. I've been thinking I mean, that every single time they put that up. How cool does that look? Across bridges, because you're on with pedal assist, and, and I'll say this again, here's the part that I love 
about having my e-bike is that you can use this as a regular bike and really get a good workout in. Yeah. It's not like, oh, I'm wimping out and now I'm just going straight electric. It, it's both. It yes. really is the two different modes. And then you've got the ability, if you do get a little tuckered out because you've gone further than you normally have in the yeah. past, go straight on pedal assist or throttle assist on the way home. It is amazing the, the help that it can give you. And you, it's encouraging. You get to an age where dad isn't gonna be there to, uh, to walk your bike back. <laughs> you, know, the, you know, the people in the life aren't gonna be there to help push you. We're, we're, we become independent. We become at that age where we wanna do all those things. We wanna enjoy that. This is independence in a way and in a bike that you've never had before. Whether you've had a bike or you haven't had a bike, but I'm assuming most people have had a bike. You may have never seen an electric bike. It's so easy to do all of those things. And we say, you can do this, you can do that, you can do this on this bike, but it's so easy at just the touch of a button to say, I want a little help. Exactly. <laughs> you know, and and calling mom. Mom, There is that, nothing that's wrong the mom with button. that. I mean, that's, I think for me, having the ability to just like pedal assist is encouraging me to try even more terrain, you know? Yes. Terrain that I wouldn't be able to get up a side of a mountain, like what we did in, in Georgia a couple weeks ago on our glamping trip. I was amazed at that. I mean, I put on so many miles and I, I saw so many things that I would have never been able to with a traditional bike. It was incredible how it just opened up this whole new world. Well, you know, so you go to these places, you don't know what's, well, what the trail is going to look like. Exactly. You know, when you go to a lot of these RV uh, camping grounds, not everything's paved. You know, it's dirt roads, it's gravel roads. That's why I love about having one front suspension on both bikes, two yeah. on that Max S that we're showing you right there, is that you have those big beefy tires. You're going to be in every single terrain. It's not just off terrain, it's every terrain. Yeah. Roads, off roads, however you decide to ride it, <laughs> whatever's in front of you, you feel like... Uh, like it's a convertible truck. You know, you just reminded me when I was um, doing my thing, I was exploring all these different trails. I realized um, this is bear country. Yes. And I was looking for the signs and I was like, yes. oh my gosh, what if I turned a corner and there's a bear? I'm like, well, I could, out, I could outrun it with my e-bike because it goes 20 something miles an hour. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> it didn't happen, thankfully. I'd be doing, I'd be doing this. <laughs> Let's get, bear, <laughs> get out of here. Um, so funny you said that. My, I was talking about my aunt and uncle. They were just literally RVing up in, uh, up in Georgia. Took a big picture of a bear. They're like, you can't tell how big this bear is. Mm -hmm, I bet. But what did they do? They were in one of the most beautiful places. And again, you can go to, you can go to Atlanta. You can go to Georgia. But in every little city, there's beautiful places that you mm -hmm. just don't go to see. Yeah. They had their bikes and they were going and just traveling around getting all these different pictures. You're like, where is that? Oh, it's right here, you haven't been? How many times have people come over here and said, you haven't gone to the Pinellas Trail? You haven't done this, you haven't done that? Oh, no, I haven't. It's right in your backyard. Right. Doesn't, you don't have to go very far it's true. to be able to enjoy the life that you have right so there in your backyard. So once again, as a final wrap up here, if you want the type or the bike that folds into itself, you want the Max S. That's the one with the fatter, beefier tires. If you want the Paris, it's the more streamlined design. It does not fold and it does have the basket and an additional clamp on the back, uh, thinner tires as well. More traditional, classic, old school bike. Both are available and again, here's your options in color. Orange, black, red, white. You get this $100 helmet. You get this awesome Bluetooth speaker, which is also a flashlight. So all the safety features that are built on board are really a, a nice comfort to me. So I share that with you. And once again, this is the Max S. There's the white, red, black, and orange. The item is the same, which I'm trying to see because it's very far away, but the item is something around seven, six, something. Seven, six, what is it? Nine, nine, three, nine. Thank you for being a part of our show today. I know Justin and I are gonna take a little cruise around the campus. I hope you've enjoyed seeing where we broadcast live from every single day. Thank you, Justin. Thank you. What time are you back this afternoon? Let's see, what's, uh, back in three? Back in three. Do I have this backwards? No, we're good. Helmet's on backwards. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> but it was a good, That doesn't help. <laughs> All right, I'll do this right this time. <laughs> Thanks, Keisha. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Marlo's up next. We'll see you back here Monday night. Woohoo!
food has always been my passion. But the truth is, even in the world's best kitchens, the tools can really make or break a chef. That's why I've developed this incredible, innovative line for our HSN. It makes the prep easy, and it also makes the cooking a whole lot of fun. From my kitchens to your tables. <laughs> Let's turn the everyday into gourmet.